Stephen Mullaney's career best 100 put Nottinghamshire in the driver's seat on day two against Kent. Notts resumed in a strong position on the morning of day two, trailing by just 45 but with seven wickets in hand. Mullaney was not out 63 with partner Hales on 28 and the pair immediately went to work on the Kent attack with boundaries flowing freely in the early part of the session. Hales went past 50 as Mullaney approached 100 with the partnership continuing to grow. In the 59th over, Mullaney brought up his ton with a boundary of Stevens. It was Mullaney's 12th first class 100 and his first of the season. Having passed the milestone, Mullaney went on the attack as the partnership passed 200. Hales launched Denley into the stands to move to 85 and he had a century of his own in sight but when he tried to go again next ball he holed out to Dixon in the deep, the 222 run fourth wicket partnership finally coming to an end. Vessels was Mullaney's new partner and the pair survived through to T, Knotts well placed on 278 for four at the break. Mullaney and Vessels initially found scoring difficult after the interval, but that didn't stop Mullaney from bringing up his 150 with a boundary off Milne. Mullaney went past his previous best first class score of 165, but his magnificent innings came to an end shortly afterwards, caught by Rouse off Coles for 168. Vessels had ground his way to 17 from 72 balls before he fell to Gidman five overs later. Rouse with another grab. Reed and Pattinson with the new pairing, but Pattinson lasted just eight balls before Cole sent him back to the pavilion for four. Fletcher lasted just two, Gidman with his second wicket. Ball and Reed put on 20 for the ninth wicket before Ball fell to Clayden for a runner ball 19. And dinner was taken when Gurney was the last man out. Run out by Dixon for a duck, Knotts all out for 371. It was a batting card dominated by a career best 168 from Stephen Mullaney. Mullaney had good support from Alex Hales in that fourth wicket partnership that was chiefly responsible for securing Knotts' 191 run first innings lead. Kent faced a tricky final session under lights and Jake Ball was getting the pink duke to sing, taking the prize wicket of Bell Drummond for six in just the third over. Denley joined Dixon and the pair looked to be building a partnership when they added 32 in the next seven overs. Kent though looked to be staring down the barrel when they lost two wickets in quick succession, Fletcher claiming Denley for 19 and Captain Northeast then edging to read off Gurney for just five. Billings and Dixon then added 17 together, but Kent again couldn't get a partnership going. Dixon out caught Taylor Bold Gurney for 12. Gidman joined Billings at the crease, and Kent were finally able to build something solid, the pair putting on 42 together to see Kent to close without further loss. Kent went to stumps on 105 for four, with Billings not out 39 and Gidman still at the crease on 12. Kent will resume on day three, still 86 runs adrift of Knott's first inning score, with six wickets in hand.